black fungus after COVID. What is it? Let's talk about it. Now, this black fungus disease is known as mucormycosis. Mucormycosis is a very rare but severe fungal infection. It usually affects people with chronic health conditions such as diabetes, HIV, etc. Also, with people who have reduced immunity. Because remember, this fungus is normally found in the environment. It is found in soil, plants, your decaying fruits and vegetables. So when you inhale this mold from the environment and it goes into your sinuses and lung with your decreased immunity, the infection starts to manifest. So it's affecting people with COVID especially who are put on long-term steroids because steroids decreases your immunity. Also, people who have been on ventilator or been on oxygen therapy for a long time. Apart from that, if you have already had other comorbidities and then you get infected with COVID, that means if you were diabetic, if you had a transplant before, if you were a malignancy patient before and you contracted COVID, your chances of contracting this black fungus increases. Now, what are the signs and symptoms? The warning signs are pain and redness around your eyeball and your nose along with some fever. You could also have some blackish discoloration of skin around your nose and nasal bridge. You could have stuffy nose discharge from your nose, which is blackish or bloody. Along with that, if you have severe headache, altered mental status, swelling in your eyes, pain in your cheekbones, swelling and pain in your jaws, loosening of teeth. And along with that, if you have severe cough, breathlessness, and your cough again shows some brownish, blackish or bloody discharge, think of mucormycosis. Now to diagnose it, you will have to go to a doctor, especially an ENT specialist, that is ear, nose, throat specialist. These ENT doctors will do a thorough examination, do a lavage, send that lavage for the fungal infection test. Lavage meaning a normal saline washing of your sinus and nose and then testing it. They might even do a biopsy of these areas to confirm your diagnosis. Severe mucormycosis might even spread to your brain. So you might also require an MRI to know its spread. What is the treatment? If caught early, you will be treated with antifungal drugs and these antifungal drugs will help you cure this fungal infection. You might also require surgery for this mucormycosis. In the end, the most important point is how do you prevent it? First is prevent COVID itself. Second, if you get COVID, make sure you're not unjudiciously using long-term steroids if not needed. Control your sugar levels accurately. Maintain hydration, maintain your health, Take your antioxidants and vitamins regularly. If you're using air conditions and water purifiers, make sure you change your filters and they are not infected with moles on time. And in the end, wear gloves. When you're dealing with contaminated areas and stuff such as your garbage, your soil, etc. At the end, it all comes down to taking care of yourself, staying healthy.